hello everyone it's Kritik here from IT Rebels and today in this video we'll be building some basic components in react and tailwind by which you will get understanding how to build something on using react and tailwind we have already created a basic folder let's open this uh, let's create a new react app using create react app cmd this component let's give create this app using uh, create react app it will take some time and it will give us a boilerplate so as you can see we have installed the re create react app so now let's open it so I am not getting this uh, open with VS code option so for to open this project uh, I can use CMD or I can go on VS code and this practice component for select folder so I open this project now what I can do is uh, control and tilde to open the terminal or simply drag drag this to open the terminal and type npm start 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 to run the server uh, for now we are going to build this landing pages navigation bar so let's do this first then I think this is similar to that above so we will go for this part later so our app is up and running now let's install Tailwind CSS T A R T L W I N D Wind CSS so for now we are going to build just one nav component which is navigation bar So I'm just copy pasting this uh, uh, codes for now to install Tailwind CSS and initializing Tailwind CSS space. So let's save this and check what we have to do. Okay. So now let's add this Tailwind CSS. Uh, Im let's import the Tailwind CSS inside our own CSS index.css where is index ok here it is let's delete control s app.css let's delete this also control s ok let's clean uh, a bit index.css we need that app.css we need that ok and have it provider setup test delete low SCG delete index dot we need that app dot dash delete app dot js okay let's clean this let's clean this okay uh, we don't need this app dot logo so don't need this control as public ok let's save everything and just try to run our server so we just change the tailwind config let's see is it running close the uh, just cancel this term uh, server and just kill this server and restart our server npm start so as you can see uh, we are using tailwind css and uh, we are running our application with tailwind css so let's build this uh, navigation okay so to do that let's close everything 
and go inside source and then add a folder called component c o m p o n e n t s component and it will be a best practice to add all your components inside the component folder and there is i want to add one more co folder called pages p a g e s pages uh, so now let's add create some components okay so component called navigation n a v i g a t i o n navigation inside this navigation let's create uh, some nav nav bar dot jsx jsx okay so let, we have created a navigation bar dot jsx and then r a f c e okay so let's import this navigation bar inside our j app dot js called navigation nav and navy nav bar when we use react uh, we can separate our code inside components and we can just create each component here and then we import wherever we want so we have created navigation bar dot jsx a component and we are calling it inside our application so let's see how what are the output so as you can see in navigation bar nav bar is coming here uh, which we have created here in nav bar jsx so now let's create a class c l a s s class name class name and name name is equals to flex f l e x flex so in uh, react js uh, we instead of class we write class name uh, because uh, react is in java in javascript uh, class is already a defined keyword so we can't use class in Re react display flex display flex b g so this is tailwind uh, and what is this doing we are getting all of these classes from tailwind and i think this will match the color for now h will be h pixel h will be 20 30 um, it's okay let's see what are the output as you can see uh, we are getting this output which is a bit different than what we expected we can get those colors so we can do something like this uh, in tailwind css like bg and then whatever the color we want so i think this will work and then we can use text t e x t text will be white 550 okay this will work for uh, this will also work let's add display flex flex item center to make it align item center item item center justify content between I think this will do and let's give some padding p a sorry p 4 would be enough okay it's really nice let's see what happening as we can see really centered and looking nice let's give some le text let's give some styling to this text let's add a span f p a n span of 
logo l o g o logo gives a class name to it c l a s s class name to it called text t e x t text bold text p text 3 xl 4 xl and font f n t font bold which i like then which is very bigger i think so 4 xl is too big let's give it 3 xl on red bold to yes this look nice now let's see what can we do so we need some menus uh, i like this one so let's make this class name cl well class name flex f l e x flex i t e m s item center justify content uh, around uh, or i think uh, yes and uh, and justify content and because i i want every justify content and because i want everything to be shifted right so that's why i did and then let's say gap space x okay space s p a c space x 4 space x 2 would be enough i think then i have to span or dev ul li let's do this and say check out so this is how it looks now we have to add c l a s s class name x i does not justify content and space x2 which is same to us so as you can see this is how it will look and we can just change it to 2 to 4 and it will work the same okay it will look better so now what we want is to add some buttons so let's add it okay let's add some buttons like what we have yeah. some icons which we can we can use we can add some icons let's give something like four or here we can use six i think it will work and let's give some extra space h 16 or okay it looks good and now what can we add we can add some icons so to add an icon we use react icons r e a c t react icons i c o n s icons and let's go on to react icons copy this and just paste it in our powershell npm install react icons and it will install all those icons like uh, from and design icon bootstrap icon and font or some icons to hero icons so we are going to use hero icons here or with i think uh, this will satisfy all our needs so google plus or maybe i want youtube so
so let's search for YouTube control F and let's search for Y O U T U B so I think uh, there is not YouTube icon was not available in uh, hero icon so I will search here Y O U T U B E YouTube so uh, font as a awesome ha have this icon so let's see let's copy this and save S P A N span and paste this copy this and add in here so let's remove this and import this icon from react icons fa see the result so it's not okay here it is copy this below and add facebook or instagram so i will add instagram I-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-S-T-A-N-
we are adding this many times so if you want you can just create a layer in CSS and you can use that like I will say create add the rate layer L A Y E R layer and then instead of going uh, dot flex uh, F L E X flex C C flex C C C S okay center start okay this will uh, do display flex means flex okay L A Y your layer layer then component navigation bar layer component nav bar and in nav bar and it's called flex okay okay so now we can use uh, apply at the rate a p p l y apply then flex flex whatever css we need flex uh, item center item item center justify content start so flex yes means flex and item center and it will be horizontal vertically uh, centered and horizontally at the start of the place so and let's add gap 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 is 4 which is good gap for any item so I think this will work uh, for many applications like many styling part instead of writing this okay now what we have to do is we have we have done this part let's see okay let's go for a div 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 to z just add the same class here to c control v cut this Control X and Control V. Control S. Okay. So format with let's format document with pretty constant document format prettier default. Save on H format document. So as you can see, we have formatted this document and it's looking nice, right? now it's looking nice let's see how it looks here so no changes here and which is good let's add uh, some let's do some re responsive work because we want uh, our application to be mobile responsive and responsive on all devices so let's do that first okay so now we have done something so now I just minimize uh, and keep my browser on right and code on left so let's add some responsiveness to our application so let's assume this is our mobile and let's code according to it control B to close this so we don't want anything to display here um, okay 
we don't want it to display here so md flex so it will be flexed from uh, medium screen and for any screen below that below below that it will be hidden h i d d hidden so let's save this and see the result okay so it will be hide for all devices except uh, desktop and tablet i think because md is for tablet if you don't believe me just check this out okay it will hide for tablet and as we go above 760 which uh, it will be displayed as flex let's go back and so we have hidden everything here let's add a toggle here spam toggle s p a n spam react toggle so let's go here okay let's use this one okay so we have imported this hamburger menu and let's save this and see the result okay so, so let's add, give some class text rg will be enough control c and control v so lg excel excel text would be excel or maybe to excel i think it will work okay it look good now what i have to do is create a drop down and let's create a drop down and display it when someone click on this nice uh, so let's create a drop down Okay, let's complete this day first. Enter, and then we have to add the same thing. This and this. Control C. Close this. Control V. And then we have to use something, something like this. Flex. Okay. Okay, so what we need is uh, we want to add this tape below our navigation bar, but in React there is some we can't we can't do like this uh, like we can't add something in outside the just outside our component because we can only return one uh, component uh, like this we can one element we can on and everything is should be enclosed by that so we can't pass to we can't return two elements one after ad adjacent to each other in, in one component so this is not a valid react uh, js code so we have to use a react fragment here we or we can just use a div but i prefer react fragment because this will not be shown inside our application so it will be just added here now let's open this and display flex flex direction should be column c o l u m n column flex column f l e x flex column i think this will work and everything will be okay nice let's add this with 100 percent w full because i think i saw that coming and 
us as column flex should be column that should be nah, this is good justify content add uh, this shouldn't be justify content add it should be justify content start s t a r t start s t a r t start okay nice nice what happened here uh, let's see uh, okay Okay. Justify item center. Oh, okay. Justify content center. C E N T E R center because we if when we did when we do flex column uh, item and center item uh, align item and justify content. Uh, Get reverse so we have to I justify content center and align item start. S T A R T start. I think this will work. And Y space X should be. I think we should remove space X. And we can use cap C A P cap of four. This will do. Base X should be okay. Cap is four. Would be four would be enough. So now we can just class flex item center justify content start space X Y or maybe we can just use justify content center. Center C E N T Center Item should be start S T A R T start. Okay. I think it was working. It was doing fine. is equals to mt4 to add a cap it will let's say format this format document add a white background and some bg white blue h i t or maybe pv slate which will look good i think padding p4 padding should be larger i think Yes, this will look good. And yes, we can see here. Or maybe instead of slate, we can use blue to make it more attractive. And some shadow. Shadow. Shadow SM, this will look good. Shadow MD, I think. MD. Okay, this is looking way better. 
this time it is a good night for us then. This is looking better. Now we can uh, work on toggle feature. So let's see how to add this. So to do that, let's create a state called uh, toggle navigation. T Okay, I am imported. I had already imported U state and U state flip it. So let's see if we can add false as an initial state, and then we have to create a variable called toggle navigation. T O G T O G G L A toggle nav. Set toggle down. So, when someone click on this menu, uh, it should. When someone click on this, on C L I C K click is equals to. So I did on click a handle toggle nav. So we have to create a new function called toggle handle toggle nav. H A N D L E handle nav toggle. Okay. Const C O N S T const handle nav tag is equal to an arrow function and enter. So what will this add state? Okay, so now let's continue to set as it is set toggle map is to and not toggle nav. So whatever the toggle nav is, uh, when we click on this, it will do opposite like. Uh, so now it's false when we click on it uh, it will get it will be true next time so as you can see here let's see let us add console.log clg and set toggle lab t o g g toggle n a v clear this and refresh as you can see there is nothing clear this toggling it's false it's true it's false it's true so whenever we click uh, it will be true or false let's close this or let it be and now uh, we can check if that if toggle lab toggle lab if then display all of this control x 
out. display nothing so let's clear this refresh and see clear this as you can see it's false now I am clicking it's true it so I think this is working but it's just too snappy we have to add some animations and we can do that and it's visible in desktop so it, it shouldn't be uh, visible in desktop so how can we hide it so this is the part which is uh, displaying that all tag uh, sorry menu button toggle menu button so to hide this we should uh, we should be flex F L E X flex and it should be hide in MD MD H I D hide uh, sorry H I D hidden so let's see it's hidden on uh, desktop uh, devices and visible only on mobile so I think this is how we can make things with mobile responsive and which will work and if you want to add some animation we can also do that like something so this is how we can add multiple uh, a logic inside CSS and we should use this if toggle nav toggle nav is true t o toggle nav true then uh, sorry then uh, do this control x to add this one else remove this here and see the result as you can see here F12 F12 is ok so what we have to this is like this as you can see this is what we have done and it's not good to have this thing uh, like this so we have to fix it completely let's see this is because we are doing this and this is here let's see so inside app.js or maybe inside index.css let's see uh, we have to use html html and we have to give overflow overflow hidden overflow but overflow x 
so in x axis uh, in x axis we want we don't want uh, any scroll bar we just only want scroll bar on uh, header uh, on y axis like we can scroll things up and down that's it so by doing this i think we we have okay it's not working we have to add it inside control x control z control z control z control z control z okay inside the layer uh, instead of using layer we can just use this okay it's not working okay HTML apply enter it apply APPR apply and overflow 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 x hidden overflow x hidden this will do I think I think Control Shift R. Let's do the same thing. Let's see. This is not working. So go to okay so to hide that we are used overflow header x hidden inside our app.js so this will work and it's working as you can see I am taking this scroll and going left and right but it's not scrolling which is great to have and it's animated so I think this will work for you guys and you can build great navigation using this so let's add one more functionality like uh, if we have this um, uh, toggle nav t toggle t toggle nav then to display x or display this control x control c control v else uh, okay if toggle nav is 2 then display a cross sign react icons close 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 C-L-O-S-E -E close I will use this MD close and copy this paste. Okay, we have to import the MD now. MD, MD, and cut this and import this MD. Yeah. So I 
think this will work. Control shift R. Then we just open and close, open and close, open and close. I think this will be a great addition to your portfolio if you build this component and start your own journey. Now let's add a React router. Add some routing to our page. Maybe next time. <laughs> I am too tired. So do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.